Hi, welcome to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. So I'm here with another video. I have me, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't do it, but I've been doing this for, my twins will be 36. So um, yeah, I cut up my Cornish, Cornish hens and I fry them. Aren't they cute? Y'all got to know me. I don't love big pieces of chicken. And I said, mm, last year, I said, let me go back to frying my Cornish hen. That way I don't have to go buy one of them big chickens just to get the backs off. I have my backs did, y'all, but that's that for meditation time, baby. That's when you looking at TV or something and you eating them chicken backs. Yes, I am a chicken back person. I love the chicken backs and I love the chicken necks and I love that chicken gizzards. I ain't too mm, with the chicken liver, but those I love. But anyway, look at this little thigh. Look at this. Ain't that so cute? Look at the little wing. Fly away. And the little leg. So, I figured these little four pieces that I got would make up for one piece. <laughs> so, I have a little salad. I didn't even do no big salad. Just a salad. With a little cheese. I really don't care for cheese on it. But to make it look, you know, a little bit better. I have my jalapeno on standby. And I have me just a few pickles. I didn't even cut it up. I just throwed it on here. So I have hot sauce. And. Yes, I love hot sauce on it. Some barbecue sauce, my special barbecue sauce. So, yeah. So, my drink on standby. So, let's pray because I'm hungry. What time is it? It's 3.45. Oh, I'm doing good. <laughs> Lord, bless the food that I'm about to receive. Let it nourish my body, purify, take out every impurity. In the name of Jesus, bless those that are without. And God, we give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I know it sounds like I'm playing with God, but we have that relationship. Sometimes I'll be like, oh God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But he know me, he know, he know. And my God, I love me some Jesus, honey. I love him. Yes, so here you go if you want some. Got a little bacon bits in it. Mm-hmm. So I want y'all to um be very careful with your children going to school. And from school. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so good and crunchy. Let me put that up front and put this in back here. So, my granddaughter was leaving. This after school place. And you know, um, I don't want to jump it, but I'm one of those grandmamas, you know. I believe, put, make sure you anoint yourself, be prayerful. And I always pray. You know, you always have that, God, please don't let nothing happen to my grandchildren. Don't let nobody snatch them, da 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 and yesterday, I am, I mean, I'm not lying. I went into a prayer, and I'm always covering my grandchildren, always. But I went into a prayer. This chicken fat, y'all. <laughs> I'm coin this in here. I went into a prayer, and you know, God will lead you into prayer, and you be praying. You don't know. What's what about to take place or will take place or but you know God would just have you 
praying, putting the prayer out there in the atmosphere, calling on the name of Jesus, baby, the name that is above all names. When the righteous run into him, we say. So, as she was leaving yesterday, um, a man in a truck stopped her and told her to get in the car. Well, this lady um, that works after the after school program. You know where the kids go and just be kids. And um, so she began to call her name because she was watching her as she had walked away. And so she called this teacher backing for my, my granddaughter. She gets my granddaughter to come back. And so... But because she hollered to let my granddaughter know, hey, get back. The man evidently got fearful. He told my, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So the teacher called my daughter. And um, okay. And the teacher called my daughter. And so as my daughter was coming to get her, um, my daughter called me, right? And we didn't get no clear understanding. We was thinking like, she talked because we go all over it with with our children, with my grandchildren, our children, period. You know, you don't talk to no strangers. First of all, This is why I tell them. No grown-ups have the right to stop a kid, to ask a kid anything. They have no right to ask you where so-and-so stay. Do you know this person? I got a dog. I have candy. It's a bait. Run, scream. So, anyway, this here... Man in the truck. So, I guess the way he pulled up, he was right in the path of my grandchild. And, but because, thank you, Jesus, the teacher saw, and then he told me, oh, oh, I'm sorry. um, Because um, he told her to get in the car, get in the truck. And so it all just happened so quickly. So when she went back to her teacher, and when my daughter gets there, the other man from the uh, manager from the the um building complex, he was there. So they were saying, call the police. And I'm like, well, do she know how he looked? Because I'm still there on the phone with my daughter. And so my my granddaughter gave the perfect, perfect. identity of the man um she said the type of truck um he had the color um white hair black so anyway the manager got in the thing and started circling because the police had asked well is he still in that area and the teacher said, well, I don't know because I got a lot of kids, you know. Kids be coming over there to cool out after school, eat and play and do whatever they do. And her... Okay, y'all. Hold on. It's so season. Mm, mm, mm. That's the little thigh. It's so season, y'all. Y'all... Um, now mind you, so how long, I say a good 
15, 20 minutes and pad. This here, probably a little longer than that. This here lady, the teacher, I mean, the manager. He goes around the building and finds him. He was sitting, he was parked doing something. I don't know. I can't even remember. But he said he's an Uber driver. Now, if you're an Uber driver, why are you still there all that time? Parked. Plus, he said he thought my little granddaughter with a book bag on a book. Yeah, book bag. He said he thought she was a grown up. Oh. Um, they had called back. They called the police and um canceled it. You know, because they found out who he was. He came. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm still on the phone. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm like four, four or five minutes, not even... Not that, not that much. About four minutes from my daughter. Do you know that devil? Well, I'm not going to say it's the devil. I believe it was God. I couldn't find my keys, y'all. I know I usually put my keys up on the coat rack thing. I couldn't find my keys nowhere. I mean, I was searching. I was just on the phone and I'm looking. I'm looking all in coat pockets. I opened my door. I said, well, did I leave it in my door? I opened my door and closed. It wasn't there. I was just looking. And when everything had started settling down, I heard the Lord say, look down in the couch. It had fell down in there. But he knew, baby. Because all I thought about how my prayer was going out and the devil going to try to mess with my grandbaby. <laughs> Let me tell you. God intervened, y'all. God intervened. And so, um, so, but the thing was, he going to tell my granddaughter to get in. So, anyway, they did put an alert out to the parents and stuff, you know, about that. But then the teacher said, well, he sounds so, what is it? He sounds so truthful when he said he didn't tell her to get in. My granddaughter haven't changed her story not once, even when she was there, home, even when I got there. Because I'm, look, I be saying to old folks, honey, I be like the old folks, but I'm old myself now. I'm 62. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Folk may say that's young, but honey, I thank God for 62. Because there was times I didn't think I was, I was going to make 40 or 50, let alone 60 and 62. Anyway, I still got my keys. I, when I got my keys, I went because I was, I was like, I got to lay eyes on her. I just want to lay eyes on her. I was giving God thanks, but I, I needed to lay my eyes on, you know, the old folks. Let me lay, I, I got to lay eyes on you, baby. Baby, I had to lay eyes on my granddaughter. But yeah, so I'm like, so he's sitting here talking to a little girl. He know that's a little girl. She don't look no way like a grown up with a little book bag, telling her to get in his truck. And the only thing made him say, oh, I'm sorry, or that's okay, or something, was when the teacher hollered, holler for her. But, of course, he going to say, uh, uh, no, I didn't tell her to get in the truck. I didn't tell her, you know. So, I'm telling y'all, beware. So, I had somebody to call me. So, I don't know what was my last thing. What was I saying? Anyway, so, um, this, this, you know, if you... No, you have been caught. Sure, you'll say it. 
I didn't tell her to get in the car. I thought she was a grown woman. Y'all be careful. That's what I was talking about. Y'all be careful. You know, back in the day, we could lay down. Kids could get ready, go to school. We could turn back over and go back to sleep. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No, make sure your kids are safe. Make sure they're safe. Because I'm telling you, it's, at first it's this sex, okay, the sex trafficking, where they'll get our kids and they'll take them 10 buck two way over somewhere and sell them for for sex. And then, you know, they started with this organ, selling um, the organs, not just the kids' organs, grown-up adults' organs just get you and cut you open and, and sell the organs. Some some rich millionaire or somebody say, give me a, a little kid heart because they, they daughter heart is messing up or kidneys or lungs or something and I give you like 10,000, 20,000. Well, of course, they'll go out and they'll get the first one that they find, you know, and they'll just snatch them. And, you know, it, 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 you, it, you must be aware of what's going on. You know, protect your children. Plead the blood over your children. I cover all of my children with the blood. I, my grandchildren, each one household got blessed or anoint yourself. My grandson, Braylon, he know how to anoint the whole house and pray. So the thing is, anoint. And the Bible said, watch as well as pray. Watch, y'all. All these here different types of trucks or cars that's in your neighborhood, you know, and they sitting there and they watching, they watching the pattern of your children, what time they go to school, when they get out, what time this one, they come out at a certain time, this one. Be careful, y'all. Watch as well as pray. I'm telling you, get up out the bed and see your kids to school, to the bus. Please, please. You know, that hurts my heart when I keep, and I'm here, I'm seeing all, you know, these missing children, and I just get to praying, you know, because it, it, it don't make no sense. It don't make any sense. So let's just be mindful. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, let's just be mindful. Of what's going on and protect our children's, you know. I had seen one time, I seen one time on, on a video on social media. This woman had her child. Was it a buggy, a stroller? It was a buggy stroller or by the hand or something. This man came and was snatching the child out of her arms. You hear me? This lady was screaming, holding on her child for dear life. And this man kept trying to snatch the child out of her arm, y'all. And I think it was an undercover police. Not undercover. He was a police, but he wasn't in uniform. He the one that came to the rescue. Praise Jesus. But I'm telling you, these demons, they bold. Now they snatch, try to snatch the child out of the mother's arm. Y'all, be careful with your children. Like I, I teach my kids, run. Just start running and screaming. Running and screaming. Screaming, help, help, help. They use his kids. I have told mine over and over. They use his kids to bait you. Yes. And, and they know kids love animals. And they be like, have you seen my animal? Have you seen my dog, my cat? Come here, see his pictures like this. Or, you know, they'll wait around and they'll hear you all, hear the children's out there talking. And they say, you know, hey, Hey, um, Crystal, girl, you something else. So he's like, mm, her name is Crystal. 
So then a, a, a day when it's convenient for him, he'd be like, hey, Crystal, my, your mama told me to pick you up, girl. How you doing here? Come on, get this here for and snatch her. He didn't know her. He heard one of the kids calling her name. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. Now me, <laughs> I couldn't find my keys, y'all. Because I still would have let the police came and made a report. A Uber man still in the vicinity over there parked. And he talking about, um, oh, he thought she was a grown woman. Mm -mm. And oh, no, uh, I didn't tell her to get in the car. Well, what? What man going to tell you that he, he did say it? Come on now. But they canceled the police call when he came. Come on. He thought she was an adult. This little girl, come on. So y'all be careful. Please be careful. Watch out for your children. Watch out for your grandchildren. Pray over them. <laughs> I remember... My children, if they running late to get to the bus, baby, I hurry up and slap that, well, not slap, but uh, <laughs> anoint them with bless her and let her run out. And all while they running, I'm out, I got my whole head out that door pleading the blood. In the name of Jesus, God cover them with your blood. We bind devils and demons on every hand. And I'm just hardly sending my prayer out, baby. Send it all in the atmosphere. <laughs> they get to school, they say, bless her, be running all down face. <laughs> but hey, it's safety in the blood of Jesus, y'all. Cover them children. But still, even though you cover them, the Bible said, watch as well as pray. Y'all protect y'all children. Protect. Anyway, um, I'm just about to... It was a good meal. It really was. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, thank y'all for stopping by. Remember, let your words be seasoned with grace. Let your words be seasoned to you first. To you. You are the righteousness of God, heir and joiner of Jesus Christ. You are above and not beneath the lender and not the bar. You are awesome. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're nothing. <clears throat> Don't let them feel like <clears throat> you can't make it in life. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. So after you season the words to yourself, season your words to others. And as I put more season on my food the other day at the restaurant, sometimes you may not have enough seasoning for your word. Well, what do you do? You go back to the word of God and get more seasoning to your word. You go back in prayer. You go back in fasting and worship and get some more seasoning and, and apply it to your words. Let your words be seasoned with grace. Let your facial expression, because this here talk just as loud as this. And also let your food, booyah, booyah, booyah. It's good, y'all. I may finish the salad. May not finish all of it, but um, yeah. So until next time, y'all be blessed. I love you with the love of God. Be blessed. Bye-bye.